Hey everyone, Spicy Toast Gaming here. I hope you're having a great day and I hope this video can make it a little bit better. Today we're gonna to be testing out some epic relics on Kindred. I was looking through my roster of champions, trying to think who I would want to take up against Lissandra. And I thought it'd be fun to go with Kindred, but first I realized I never have really used any epic relics on Kindred. Now Kindred doesn't really need epic relics. They have a lot of very viable strategies without the epic relics but I thought I would try to make some work. And so I've spent a while looking through all sorts of different combinations on what I would want to do. There's a lot of interesting ones, but I thought we'd maybe go for a Star Forged Kindred build because we'll actually be able to get that Titanic value from our power and not our health, which is the way most people are able to do it. Before we get into that more though, let's go take a look at her star powers. So up first, round start, summon a prey. If you already have one instead, grant your prey last breath. Deal two to the enemy in Nexus. Then we also have plus one starting mana, round start, create a spirit journey in hand. If you already have one, reduce its cost by two. So that's spirit journey, kill a unit, then revive it. Very good power. A lot of interesting ways we can use this. And the prey is also very nice and give us a solid amount of damage on the enemy Nexus. So the build we're going with at the moment Starforge Gauntlet power if I'm Titanic plus one starting mana. Titanic, you have to have eight power or health. So we're pairing that with the Spectral Scissors and the Warhammer. Both of these giving us two power. So we're able to have eight power and we're going to have four health, which is pretty solid for a four cost unit that we can play turn two. You know, Spectral Scissors, very powerful effect, not only giving us that extra power, but also support grant my supported ally Ephemeral and summon a exact Ephemeral copy of it attacking so this should be pretty interesting with kindred now we could have gone with kind of the similar build we've already showcased where you can just spawn an entire board of your champion attacking with spectral scissors easily could have done that by throwing on a guardian angel and while it is a very powerful build it's pretty much the same thing that we've already showcased a couple times on the channel and this build right here i'm not necessarily saying it's the best kindred build just wanting to test out some of the epic relics and see how it works on them. Now I think just having that plus one starting mana with Kindred will be really nice. Having the extra stats, also really good. And then the Spectral Scissors, I think there's gonna be a lot of interesting ways we could use this. Potentially if we summon, potentially if we support one of our prey that has a large amount of stacks on it, the summoned copy, since it's a exact copy, might also get all of those extra stats to deal damage to the enemy Nexus. That could be really interesting. Or we have some strong cards such as the Fading Icon when I'm summoned to summon a prey. So we could use this on them to trigger their summon effect again. So I think this should be a pretty interesting run. Kindred is a very versatile champion. I just want a little bit more experience playing around with things instead of going for some of the builds that I normally just default to. Now, if you appreciate all this daily Path of Champions content, definitely like and subscribe and let's get into it. Now for this adventure, we're just gonna go through and test it out against Aurelian Soul. We will be doing a Kindred run versus Lissandra later, but this is more focusing on the build, less on the adventure we're going through. Up first power. Oh, that is tough. Allies having Hallowed is really good for Kindred because you're having so many units die, you can get this just going scaling like crazy. But getting an extra mana gem, that means we'd start at four mana, which would also be pretty crazy. While the mana flow is probably better since we would then be able to immediately play our Kindred round one, we are wanting to test out and see how this build is going to work. And the mana flow has kind of changed that a little bit too much. So I think we'll just go for the Haunting Hall. Also very, very good for Kindred. And we can just see how Kindred feels starting off at the three mana instead of it getting kind of skewed by starting off at four mana. All right, Ezreal with perfected mana flow. All right, let's get rid of the Tortured Prodigy. And I think even the Spirit Leech. We're gonna have our units dying very often in this match. So, yep, it is working, starting at that three mana because of our Titanic Kindred. Quite nice. Uh, I think I'll just drop my Phantom Prankster so we can get some damage down from the Praise dying. Oh, that's a good one. And we'll just pass, we don't want to attack, have them block, and then use Static Shock to kill our Prankster. That scaling damage is quite nice, though. The world 
it's a big place. Let's see all of it. All right, so we can drop our kindred. Sure, let's go ahead and do that. Without the other. They're just going for a lot of that, a lot of that burn damage. All right, here, let's try with our fading icon. So we will attack like this and looks like, yes, we'll be able to summon a another prey as well. Now, the Kindred is going to get blocked out, which will be a little bit sad. I guess we could maybe put a Prey up here. That way, we have another unit that's... Uh, I guess our Hallowed hasn't stacked up that much quite yet. Alright, that's fine. Drop another Phantom Prankster, just get some more damage on their Nexus. I brought my books. Hope that's all right. Books. Boring. All right, let's go ahead and drop a Spirit Leech. Get some more draw. Also, should be a solid amount of damage down on their Nexus. Let's go ahead and kill him just to reduce down the damage we're taking on our Nexus. That way he's not going to hit our Nexus, get a strike off, and be able to uh, make a Mystic Shot. So we can put this unit first, get that big hallowed buff. And just put a solid amount of damage down. It wasn't me. They don't know what they're up against. Alright, so we'll play this just to get rid of their big blocker. GG. Possession, steal a follower, little pricey. The flight is nice and cheap, and that crystal carrier is solid. Sure, let's go ahead and grab that. Yumi, Poppy, Malphite. I do actually like this Poppy. These are both pretty cheap cards. Poppy could really help buff up our whole board. Seems decent. Alright, do we want to go to a shop that is a little tough? We, If we go to Chamber of Renewal, that means we can get our Champion Spell Shield, which would be pretty awesome. Granted, I don't think I want to really deal with Ash. Uh, so let's go for Tom Kench with Unyielding Determination. Uh, let's get rid of one of the Mass Mothers. A little luck. Alright, so we could play the Phantom Prankster, but I think let's drop a Fading Icon and the Flight. Uh, yeah, we can let this one die, that's fine. Let our Prey stack up a little bit. Shall we do? 
All right, so we can attack like this, and yes, it looks like the prey will get duplicated with their uh, damage. That is quite solid. We won't actually attack with the flight. We want this to just keep generating more mana for us. So that is a interesting interaction. And it can be nice to actually have another way to kill your prey because sometimes you can have like a board full of prey that you want to die to nuke down the enemy nexus, but you're not able to actually quite do that. Getting so much mana. Alright, so this should just be a solid amount of damage. I mean, I guess we could just attack. Oh, they do have that extra health bar. Uh, we'll just attack like this. That's alright. Alright, let's use this. Ooh, I guess they do have... They do have the mana to try to grab one of my units. But let's... Actually, let's just use a crumble and kill him right away. I was going to try to use our mark, but this will be better. So we won't get the strike off with Poppy, but we can still have her on the board. I think that'll be decent. Swing low, send him sky high. I'll make you proud. Solid amount of damage coming out of those preys, though. Alright, we'll wait to see who he tries to capture. Interesting. Uh, we can... Let's actually just block with this one right here. That's all right. We're somewhat holding on and expecting him to try to... Uh, capture one of our units. So we're trying to save the Black Spear to try to surprise and kill Tom Kench if he, for instance, tries to capture, like, our Kindred. Uh, we can actually just... That one doesn't really matter if he's getting it off the board. So we'll kill that one, it'll mark their Tom, and he'll just give us back our unit at the end of the round. Guess it doesn't really matter as much. GG. Alright, Runa's Path, draw one if you've slain Drain 4 from the enemy Nexus. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. So far, the build seems a very nice build if you want to just focus on. Kindred's kind of core playstyle and not really focus too much on specifically abusing specific mechanics, such as like using your second star power. Where is it? Right here. Spirit Journey, like using this, plus combining that with a bunch of Stalker's Blade on Kindred. So some of those other playstyles can be good, but so far this just seems like it's going to be a nice general build if you want to just play Kindred like normal. All right, Reunited, not bad. And then some of the stuff here is okay, but I'm fine with our current deck. Alright, Gangplank with Power Overwhelming. 
Alright, let's get rid of the squire. Mask mother. I'm a little worried about playing this because they might just... immediately drop and make it rain. Uh, I think we'll drop the Yordle Smith. We'll have that plus one starting mana next round. Yeah, having three mana at the start of the game is quite nice. Just because you just have so many more options for what you're going to play. Because Kindred ha does have so many solid cards. Just being able to play them a little bit earlier is very nice. Alright, the good thing is they're out of mana. Sadly, we don't have our Kindred, but again, because of that power, we're still getting the plus one starting mana. Alright, I think let's just... Huh. I guess we could just potentially end right here. They might have a spell to try to kill our units, but... This isn't too bad. Wow, GG. Astral Fox, kill an ally, deal 3 to game Nexus, not bad. Vaults is pretty expensive. I think let's go for the Astral Fox, that'll be alright. Ooh, health potion on Crumble would be pretty solid. Uh, memory game is okay. And we'll buy one copy of this just for the item. Kill an ally or destroy one of your mana gems to stop all enemy fast spells, slow spells, and skills. Yeah, I'm fine with picking that up. We'll only have allies we're fine with killing. That could really help us. All right, Karma with power overwhelming. Uh, Spirit Leech and get with the Yordle Squire. Hang on to our other two. Alright, let's drop our Kindred right away, because I figured they would do that. So this is a fun little thing you can do if they just have two units on the board. You can use your Spirit Journey to kill their weaker one to mark the other one. So this way, their Karma is going to die at the end of the round. That is, as long as our Kindred doesn't die, so that's why we're not going to block. Might as well get the Phantom Prankster down as soon as possible so we can scale off of killing more enemy units. Uh, Kindred or Poppy will die if we play them, but that's okay. The balanced spirit may still fall. Remember me, Please! He'll be mine. He is for the other. We do not linger. All right, I think let's go ahead and attack like this. Yeah, that'll be... that'll be okay. This was fun! Who will we chase now? Everyone, dear wolf. So one thing to note, if you are playing... Uh, Kindred, when you level up, it resets your mark, so then you can immediately mark another target. Sadly, I don't have a way to kill one of my units for free right now, but if I did, it would be a nice way to mark their other unit. We owe this land our lives. 
Uh, let's go ahead and pass for now. Is that creaking the branches of my bones? <laughs> All right, solid unit. We could get, hmm, could get some spell mana back. Sadly, we don't have any spells to kill or to stop. This would essentially force them to attack. Yeah, let's just get rid of this. We don't want to get rid of our prey and reset all the stacks. Huh, still not attacking. All right. All right, how much are these up? Five and five. All right, so this won't be too bad. Brace against fury. GG. Iceborne, that would be okay. Savage Shield would give us a good amount more stats. I think we'll go for Iceborne, though. Could be handy against Aurelian Soul. I hate that I always see this on people that don't have equipment or attachments. Be so much better. Uh, allied buffs are permanent. I think we'll just go for the uh, Emperor's Dias, being able to always summon these units, have them die, dealing more damage to their Nexus, triggering our Hallowed. Should be pretty good. All right, Poppy or Caitlyn. You want to go for the item chest. Let's go for a Caitlyn with level up. All right, that actually looks like a decent opening hand. Playing to crumble early so you can start shuffling these into your deck isn't uh, a bad option. Uh, yeah, let's drop a Phantom Prankster since we have the Emperor's Dias. Makes it a little bit better. Haven't I been here before? All right, we'll attack with our prey. That way we have two units attacking. Here. All right, we can go ahead and use this. Kill their Caitlyn. Yeah, not too bad. So we could kill that one again. Would shuffle more of these into our deck. Not a terrible option, but I think let's actually go for another fate icon for another fray. If you want something done right, let me do it. All right, that's a little unfortunate. Let's go ahead and save that. It's giving us a lot of damage from all the units where we die. All right, let's just attack right here. Just a moment. We want our parade to stack up a little bit more. Oof, that's a bit rough. When tribe calls, a reply is proper. All right, Poppy's going to get plus one power from the Reunited. So we could have her kill their Caitlyn and potentially use our Black Spear to kill one of their other units. Remember what I told you. All right, perfect. I'll make you proud. And let's get rid of their unit with Challenger. And then if they attack, we can let our Yordle Smith kill him. 
Oof, Mila, that is not great. Well, that is quite a lot of damage. Alright, might as well get our kindred out. Oh, they only have four flash bombs in there at the moment. Granted, that is enough to kill Kindred. I smell a fight. Well, that's not wonderful. Uh, I don't really want to use our Crumble. We'll potentially just use our Spirit's Journey on them if we have to. Yeah, we'll... Go ahead and pass. We don't want to play this because we don't want to kill our own unit. And Poppy will just immediately die. So I think we'll just pass. All right, so sadly we won't really be able to benefit from our mark, but at least we won't have to deal with their attack. Sleep. The pulse fades away. <laughs> On to the next. All right, yeah, still won't bother playing any of our units because they'll just immediately die or kill our kindred. Not exactly what we want. These flash bomb traps are really wrecking us, though. Can we play this without? Yes. Okay, we can skip the effect. Well, that's not the best. I suppose we could... Go right here. Stop all of their spells and skills. Mark one of their units. All right, we can skip this as well. We just want to have more units on the board if possible. Yeah, we could attack. Probably, well... We've had so many units die, our Hallowed is actually pretty insane. They'll probably just block with Bard, but... Yeah, we can actually attack like this. Yep, there's the Bard. You know, if our prey could last long enough for me to use, like, a crumble or something on them, that would be amazing. Alright, so five damage, not enough to kill any of them. We do have two Spirit's Journeys, though, so we can stop them from attacking, but we also don't really want Morgana to be able to mess with us. So we could use this here. We'd only have six mana left, so we wouldn't have enough mana. And yeah, they'd have Neela. Yeah, not really in the best possible situation. I think I know what we're... Ugh, the fact that Shackles is four mana is pretty rough. All right, let's play this 
and I think I'm going to Spirit Journey, but I think I'm going to Spirit Journey our Kindred and not any of their units. So let's pass. Just a girl, of course, they all have Overwhelm. Justice. Might not have enough to survive here. Oh, right, she blocks me, so I can't even try to block. What I was planning on doing was trying to block Morgana, kill our kindred. She would then revive, capture their Volley Bear, and then that would fizzle Morgana's attack. All right, so that would be a lot of damage. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think there's really anything we can do here to stop this. Which is unfortunate, but that's kind of how it goes with level up. Sometimes the enemy just gets really powerful units, especially up against Aurelian Soul. Welcome, anguish. It's hard to be fast now. It knows. All right, let's try again, and hopefully they don't get as many crazy champions. Hey, we're actually starting with Kindred this time. That is quite nice. That was a bit of an issue last time. We didn't have Kindred for most of the match, and Kindred is what's giving us a lot of extra removal. So that was a big issue last round. Uh, let's go for the Phantom Prankster. And yep, we can just attack with this. This will get that Sand Soldier. Drop our Kindred, capture their Poppy. Here I think we'll actually play our Poppy so she can help scale up our board. Alright, that is a little tough. I think we'll just... Well... Yeah, we could attack like this and just do double sand soldiers. I think that'll be all right. We don't want our poppy to immediately die. Although it would be a pretty big attack that they probably couldn't block if we just attacked with absolutely everyone. Hopefully the double poppies would give everyone else that the attack buff as well. Let's go for it. Oh, right. The other poppy's just going to get that strike off. Still GG, though. Nice. Alright, further buffing up our crumble. Not too bad. We don't really want more other champions in our deck. Regen, Shadow Totem. I think Shadow Totem will be pretty good. Alright, so Zoe with Unyielding Determination. Uh, this looks like a pretty solid opening hand. Uh, we'll summon another prey here. And sure, we won't be able to benefit from the ephemeral copy, other than having it die. But getting this on the board will give us more mana next round. So we'll drop our kindred, get rid of their, their champion. I suppose if we attack with him, he'll summon even more. Shadow Totem. Will Shadow Totem trigger again? Doesn't look like it. Maybe that's because our board is too full. Uh, I think let's actually attack with Prey, getting that going off. Yeah, it looks good. Alright, 
uh, and let's use this here, drain some from their health. Or <laughs> drain some health from their nexus, that is. Trick is to swing harder. Strong body, strong mind. All right, so we'll just go hit the spell shield. But we will still mark them. Also, we're trying to kill one of our own units or just kill a unit so we can use another ruinous path. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just let Kindred die to reduce down the damage we're taking. And we'll use the Ruinous Path to finish them off. Oh, right. They have... Uh, they have a yielding. Forgot about that. Alright, we'll drop our Poppy just to kill their uh, Zoe. Let's play this here. You are bound to me and I to you. You life on these lands. Alright, so let's we'll just attack with all of our units. We will get blocked out, but we're just trying to put the pressure on. All right, not too bad. Things we do for a little insight. So let's check and see what this damage is at so that's going to deal four this will deal three to their nexus we'll just play the astral fox and end the game gg that sounds pretty good gonna do like 10 damage all right shop let's see ravenous butcher is not too bad Glimpse also solid. Uh, give the weakest enemy vulnerable. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, both of these are fine, but they're not that needed. I think I'd rather go for the smooth soloist and try to save my gold to get a somewhat decent power here. So let's go for Darius with Unyielding Determination. Uh, Tortured Prodigy, and we can... Well, this is good to have just in your pocket. You never know when the enemy's gonna throw a bunch of crazy spells at you. Oh, so much surprised they wanted to attack. Alright, fine with us. So, drop our kindred, get rid of that unit. So we'll get a bunch of the attacking sand soldiers. They won't really get buffed up, though. Could go for some prey. Sure, let's just attack like this. The Hallowed is really nice on Kindred. Uh, we can just go right here. 
with Darius, it's important to make sure that uh, they don't have a lot of units on their board. And then also, since they have the unyielding, we know the match is going to go a little longer. We don't want to try to rush them down when that's not really going to happen. Uh, sure. Let's drop Poppy. And I think let's actually get another Phantom Prankster on the board. So the other copy of Poppy will hit their Darius. Let's actually test out the Yordle Smith. I'm wondering if being summoned again will trigger their summon effect of the Shadow Totem. I feel like it should, but we're not really see it, seeing it. All right, we can just, yeah, go like this. Alright, didn't seem like it. Let's go ahead, drop this here, get that mark on their Darius. An interplay. That's why we weren't worried about trying to kill him with the attack. We knew we had that free mark in our back pocket to kill him at the end of the round. Good hunt. Want to remember us by... Right. They once again just drop all their mana on that pretty much, so we're fine with just killing it again. Uh, I guess we can drop a Tortured Prodigy since we have the mana. GG. Even more mana, sounds good. Although, round start, create a create in hand a fleeting copy of the non-fleeting spell you played last round. Like the exact same thing that we already have. So yeah, we don't really, don't really need this. Let's just go for Wings in the Wave. All right, 300 gold, any decent power. Uh, Bouncing Blades isn't bad, but I think we'll just go for the Fixer Upper. That'll be all right. What do we want to cut? Rarely playing Tortured Prodigy, so we're fine with getting rid of that. All right, Victor with Duplicate. All right, let's get rid of one of the Crumbles, but we can hold on to the rest. They start with the attack token, not really the best. Let's, take the for a spin. Let's drop this right here. And yeah, we can play this as well. Always nice to just fill out your board with prey. And we can actually let this one die. Yeah, that's okay. We want these prey to be able to uh, rank up a little bit. And we want this one to give us a little bit more mana. Alright, no kindred, so we'll draw Poppy. Alright, that's fine. They are completely out of mana. Do we want to kill one of these to get another Wings in the Wave on the board? Yeah, that's all right. We are nothing without each other. You are bound to me, and I will begin. Probably should have had someone else be in the first spot, since the extra damage was a little bit wasted there. We already didn't have to kill them, so we didn't need to let them be the one to get hallowed. The future is steel and science. 
All right, they do not have... Oh, this is going to be hilarious. Oh, uh, we can't do two at the same time, right? So they don't have a spell shield yet. So we're going to drop this and kill one of them, and then we'll drop another one if we can to try to kill the other one. Or we'll use a black spear. Or I guess Kindred. Kindred works too. Uh... So he's going to play that. We'll get the chance to play. So we can just drop our Kindred. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, we can end the round. All right, GG. I do like it uh, that you can stack up one prey and then just get all those buffs again. Uh, getting Kindred at the start of the game. That's pretty good. Let's see what we get here for another power. Fast deal, elemental wins, officer backup. Spells and skills deal two extra damage. Uh, that would be good for our ruinous path as well as our... Black Spear. There it is. So, sure. That's that's alright. Would have been good if we got that uh, Blade's Edge now. Uh, alright, let's go for it. Nautilus with Perfected Mana Flow. Uh, Spirit Leech. And we can hold on to the rest. We can do Phantom Prankster, but I think let's do Fading Icon. Alright, pretty solid opening. We can play Kindred next round, capture one of their units or their saplings. Yeah, this is working out all right. Alright, looking pretty good. I think we can just... Open attack, deal a lot of damage. The heart begins. Uh, yeah, let's attack like this. They have some stuns and, yep, things like that. But not enough. That's GG. Huh, Trixie Tentacle, that's not too bad. Don't really want this to be ephemeral. I think, yeah, this will be good. Makes the enemy discard their cards and deal some damage to them. Spirit Leech, that's pretty solid. Might end up grabbing that. So 300, 180. Yeah, I think we'll actually just go for the higher education. We're draw drawing at least one card every round, so this is just increasing all of our units by an additional one trying to put the pressure on early so this is we'll go for that we won't have enough for this spirit leech little unfortunate but this is a little bit higher cost we're probably not going to want to play this as much yeah they're probably both pretty equal in power to be honest let's see anything we want to grab no i think we're fine all right misfortune with duplicate uh this looks good All right, we start with the attack token. That's pretty nice. The breath takes the waters I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. I will find someone. 
All right, we'll just attack like this. That'll be fine. Alright, they did an open attack, which is nice. Because we can then play Kindred. Grab one of their units. And we can go ahead and pass. This is going to be a pretty rough attack. Huh. I stand corrected. I thought they would... attack with a lot more. Alright, that's fine with us. Love ya. So let's go ahead and kill this to get rid of their misfortune. They'll probably play another misfortune. <laughs> yep, so we could go ahead and just use another crumble immediately. Uh, could use a black spear. Sure, let's go right here. Yeah, I think we can attack like this. Looks pretty good. I'm trying to spread out the damage since these units don't have uh, elusive or overwhelm or anything like that. Alright, that's fine. And that is quite a lot of units. <laughs> Alright, once again, let's kill this to kill their misfortune. Yeah, that seems fine. They have nothing left to play, but they'll probably just attack with everything. Yeah, we're not going to want to necessarily block this. So we'll just have to take the hit. Want to play our Ruinous Path, although we want this to be the last card we play. Let's play this here. Let's kill and revive that. We want to kill one of our own units to trigger the Ruinous Path again. We're just trying to heal up. Nothing feels better than the sun on your scales. GG. Uh, grasp the flight. I think we'll go here. Solid one drop. Give us some more mana. That's okay. Alright, Yasuo once again with duplicate. Let's get rid of both of these. Let's attack before they have the chance to play anything. Potentially it'll even stun us, that'd actually be good, because if we could keep them from playing their Yasuo right here, that would be helpful. Death is like the wind. 
always by my side. All right, we'll play this to get some extra mana next round. We'll drop our Kindred to stun or try to capture one of them. They might open attack, though. Company makes the journey go faster. Never one. Without the other. Those elusives are going to be pretty rough. All right, again, just trying to reduce down the damage we're taking as much as possible. We don't want to enter Aurelian Soul with uh, being a little low on health. All right, so let's use this to kill their unit, mark their Yasuo. An interplay of shadow like dappled sunlight. And let's... I guess we don't really need to heal up our Nexus. It is still six damage, though. So, yeah, let's still go ahead and drop this. Alright, we'll attack like this, kill a couple of their units, summon some more prey. Times are tough. Even I have good It's kind of funny that we kept him from blocking because our board was full. Who will we chase now? Everyone, dear wolf. So we're close to being able to destroy their nexus. But I think we're going to be like one to two damage away. Let's see. Are these? The, I think these are all the same amount. They're all at two. Yep. So we could do this. Actually, this is at five. Yeah, we're gonna be like one away. Oh, uh, sad. Oh, we drew this. They're probably gonna open attack, but. Yeah, nothing we can do there sad. Well, we were trying to end a little higher health. GG. Uh, group shots. Normally we'll be able to do this, and this will deal more damage because of our elemental wins. That being said, most of everything Aurelian Soul has has more health than this will really be able to do anything to. So I think let's just get a little bit more sustained from the Phantom Prankster. All right, Aurelian Soul with perfected mana flow. Uh, let's get rid of the Yordle Squire, and we can hold on to the rest. The waters give you life, child. All right, that's not really a big deal. Do we want to attack? Sure, let's just get some damage down. Get some more hallowed buffs going. So we wouldn't actually hit the Anivia if we use Kindred, because Kindred, or well, Anivia is not the strongest unit at the moment. That is a little bit rough. Still probably worth grabbing, though. So we could revive and kill one of our own units. 
Although that would just hit the Herald of Dragons, which isn't that big of a deal. Anivia's attack is annoying. I think let's actually use a Yordle Squire just so we have another blocker. So yeah, one health, not great, but at least we're killing another unit. All right, let's go ahead and use a crumble here. Kill their Tridomir, mark their Anivia. Although I suppose they're probably just going to play their Aurelian Soul right now. Alright, we're not going to be able to hit like 20 damage, right? <laughs> not quite. That is a little disappointing. Yeah, we can go ahead and attack like this. So I think we can do something a little tricksy here. Ah, that sucks. So if they didn't play that, we were going to be able to kill their Anivia and then have the mark go on their Aurelian Soul. But since they played another unit, it's now just not going to do that. At least we can kill their Anivia again. <laughs> So we could just Spirit Journey. We could use a Rite of Negation. This one is a little cheaper. Probably need the blocker, so yeah, we'll just destroy one of our Mana Gems. Uh, let's play this for the extra blockers. All right. All right, so we're still alive. All fine. Totally got this in the bag. So they'll probably immediately try to kill our kindreds. Let's play this first so they have... Well, I thought they'd try to kill these, use some of their spells on it, but guess we'll go here. And here come their obliterates, probably. Oh, a stun. Interesting. That is a little sad, because we could have attacked and been strong enough that... Don't think anyone could block us. Yeah, I guess we'll just get rid of this one. Otherwise, they'll just attack with their Aurelian Souls.
sure. This is fine. They probably can just play another one immediately, but we'll try to stop that. And we'll play this again for blockers. I guess this using the spirit journey first isn't actually going to help us because it's still just going to hit the whole board, right? Yeah. You dare try to take me? Well, that will be a game. If you want something done right, let me do it. <laughs> All right, GG. All right, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, we did end, or well, we didn't quite be able to beat Aurelian Soul. Overall, the build is pretty fun. It does just feel like a good build to go if you just want to play Kindred fairly normally. This is just giving you a bigger Kindred, letting you start with plus one starting mana, which is quite nice. And then the Spectral Scissors work very well for Kindred's overall playstyle. This would be something if you just like how Kindred is normally and just want to focus on making all of that a little bit better, then this is a great build for that. Is it the best build you can possibly do for Kindred? No, I think doing some of the different shenanigans with using like Guardian Angel on Kindred and just trying to exploit a lot of summon effects, whether that is Everfrost with the stuns or Stalker's Blade for just overwhelming amounts of removal, that is probably a better overall build. Or just trying to go for the Spectral Scissors plus Guardian Angel to just make an entire board full of attacking Kindreds that would probably be stronger. But all of those type of playstyles are essentially ignoring the general playstyle of Kindred and just trying to win the game in a little bit more of a cheesy sort of fashion. So while all those other builds are very good and probably better than this one, if you just want a build that focuses on Kindred's general playstyle, this would be pretty solid for that. Right, if you like the video, definitely like and subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day.